It is Wednesday, November 30th, and as you can see right there, uh, we finally have all 20 uh, solar panels up and actually running. And uh, right now it's about uh, 11.45 a.m. And so let's take a look and see what's happening. And you can see that it's uh, fluctuating a little bit, uh, about 43 between 4100, 4200, up to 43 something, you know, and it, and it you know, kind of jumps around a little bit. But I'd say a, a, a very consistent uh, 4000 watts, certainly. And uh, amperage is up in the right corner, 17.5. I think I saw it hit 18 once. But there are occasional clouds in the sky. I think where the sun is at right now, it's, uh, I can't look directly at it, obviously. There may or may not be a little cloud that went past So here we're taking a look at the uh, electric meter, and of course it's uh, pointed in the uh, reverse direction. And you can see the uh, little lines pointing to the left that sort of simulate the analog spinning discs that you have in the analog meters. Of course, this is a digital uh, so-called smart meter, so everything is digital. So that's the system. That's what it's uh, producing. And, uh, you know, it, it's going to fluctuate a little bit. I, I think it's going to be probably a fairly consistent uh, 4,000, 4,100 watts, and of course that can fluctuate as you know the temperature changes. Today is uh, it's about uh, oh I'd say up, you know it's supposed to get up to about 50, 48 degrees I think today, and it may be that about now. Uh, the panel temperatures are uh, let's just take a look at them real quick. I got my handy dandy uh, infrared thermometer. So if we. Okay, so that's saying 76. Pretty consistent 76. Yep, 77. 71. Now in the summer it can get hotter obviously and as it, one thing with solar panels when the panels themselves get hotter the efficiency does drop a little bit. Try to find the right angle there. So that's reading what? Did that I saw 8990. An inverter 84. 